only eat food in Washington Square Park for an entire day? Challenge Washington Square Park is known for a lot of things. You can always count on people filming, selling art, and skateboarding. But today I wanted to check out the food options. First up, I met this awesome dude who runs his own ice cold lemonade stand. Not only was his hustle inspiring, but the lemonade was delicious. Next up, I was reunited with the love of my life and got a Spider-Man popsicle. I then went and got a hot dog, but I'm not sure what was hotter, me or the dog. Lucky for me, I was able to cool off with a cool dog from this Wienermobile. It was literally a hot dog flavored popsicle. And when it came to my review, <laughs> that tastes like a cold hot dog. As we go on. Only eat triangle shaped foods for an entire day? Challenge accepted. What the Okay, so originally I had planned on just eating chips, pita bread, samosas, and a slice of pizza to complete this challenge. That was until I told my friends at Crave It what I was filming, and next thing I knew I had these in front of me. Not only was there this wild Inception pizza, but there was also this insane cheeseburger pizza. It was truly one of the most creative food items I think I've ever experienced. You are a genius. <laughs> It was a little difficult to eat, but nothing good is easy, right? I used to think the love triangle in the summer I turned pretty was big, but now after seeing these slices, that's nothing. It's 110 degrees today in Arizona, so I'm gonna see if I can bake these cookies inside of my car. I've been in the car for less than 15 seconds and I'm already this sweaty. I'm kinda sweating a little bit too, good luck. Five hours later. Let's see. Yes! <laughs> it's just never not shocking. Dinner's ready. What do you got? Chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> How is it? Is it baked? It's great. It's fully cooked. It really is. I think these are better than Noms. Only eat at Jollibee for an entire day? Accepted. The day has finally come and Jollibee Times Square is officially open. This brand new location had me jumping for joy with each item that I tried. From the biscuits to the chicken sandwich to the mac and cheese and the peach mango pie. My stomach really couldn't be any happier that Jollibee is here. Only eat with coupons for an entire day? Challenge accepted. Now I obviously had to bring my dad back for this challenge and not just because he's a viral sensation, but because he is the king of couponing. All right, dad, what is our first coupon? A Subway sub sandwich for $3.99. Oh, and a free chocolate chip cookie with any purchase. Does that count with a coupon? The answer to that question was no. But that's okay because our next stop was... Free donut. Which I was pretty excited about until I asked if I could order one and he said the coupon was only for one donut. Wanna bite? So I took what I could get. He was then very proud to show me that our next coupon was actually on his phone for a $7 salmon bowl. I'm not sure if on sale would be considered a type of cuisine, but that's definitely my dad's favorite. I love apple fritters. Same. Only eat at the best restaurants that MGM Resorts has to offer? Challenge accepted. Hang on. What I actually should have said is let's see how much food I can consume in 48 hours. Because I spent the last two days restaurant hopping in Vegas and I've never eaten more in my entire life. And if I tried to go through everything, this video would be 37 years long. So here are some of the highlights. First, going to Bardo Brassier and getting a French toast that was bigger than my face and trying escargot for the first wow, time. Wow, that's actually delicious. Next was this insane salty espresso martini I had on the 64th floor of the Sky Lounge. Along with the opportunity to dine at the legendary Morimoto, where I had the most perfect rib I've ever experienced in my entire life. And speaking of lifetime experiences, that leads me to my top highlight, which was the Mayfair Supper Club. Not only was my fish deboned table side, but I found my favorite dessert I've ever had here. Like, to the point where it's almost indescribable to explain how much I loved it. However, I'm out of time, so what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Only eat on an airplane for an entire day? Challenge accepted. Before taking flight, I made myself nice at home with some of my favorite overpriced airport snacks. I then boarded the plane and they asked if I would like a water or a mimosa. I went with the water, but my new friend next to me got a mimosa and she had the right idea because this is what we were flying through the entire time. I just did my best to pretend it was a show and then it was time for dinner. These were the food options and I decided to go with the impossible meatballs. It was honestly extremely delicious, especially this cookie that I first thought was a muffin but then was pleasantly surprised. I washed everything down with this Bella Hadid drink and then I closed my eyes as I was high in the sky feeling pretty fly. Only eat at a Las Vegas hotel for an entire day? 
Challenge accepted. To begin this challenge, I ordered myself an epic breakfast spread delivered to my room at the Bellagio. Growing up, my family never ordered room service, so this definitely felt like I was fulfilling a childhood dream. For lunch, I knew I had to take advantage of the beautiful Bellagio pool, so I ordered a turkey club, fries, and a pina colada from the pool cafe. From there, I got cleaned up for my first afternoon tea experience at the stunning Petrosian Bar located inside the Bellagio lobby. This was one of the most elegant experiences I've ever had, from the scones to the sandwiches to the caviar bites. You could call my stomach Billie Eilish because it was happier than ever. To end this dream day, I went to the Voltaggio Brothers pop-up happening inside the Bellagio. The menu consisted of the Voltaggio Brothers family recipes with a creative twist. Like this pizza margarita that had a buffalo mozzarella, so it made it nice and smoky. It was so good I ordered a second one. Not to be dramatic, but I do think today may have been the best day of my life and I might pull a Zach and Cody and move into the Bellagio. Only eat food in Washington Square Park for an entire day. Challenge Washington Square Park is known for a lot of things. You can always count on people filming, selling art, and skateboarding. But today I wanted to check out the food options. First up, I met this awesome dude who runs his own ice cold lemonade stand. Not only was his hustle inspiring, but the lemonade was delicious. Next up, I was reunited with the love of my life and got a Spider-Man popsicle. I then went and got a hot dog, but I'm not sure what was hotter, me or the dog. Lucky for me, I was able to cool off with a cool dog from this Wiener Mobile. It was literally a hot dog flavored popsicle. And when it came to my review, <laughs> that tastes like a cold hot dog. 